on that, Susie. So just looking at your week chart, we can see it's gone down 500 grams, but you were completely convinced you'd actually put on two kilos today. What do you make of that? Yeah, that's so weird. I definitely thought my weight would be up today. Mm. Um, I just feel so gross and so fat today. Mm. You're feeling gross and feeling fat today, you said. Yeah. Okay. That's not the first time you've, you've described yourself as feeling fat. Um, have you noticed that? You tend to say that a bit? Yeah, definitely. I feel fat a lot of the time. Yeah. And we've noticed that it's something that, that people with eating disorders do tend to feel quite often and quite intensely as well. So it might be worth talking about today. Okay, sure. Yeah. Well, it might seem strange, but fat is not actually an emotion. So you can feel sad or you can feel angry or you can feel happy, but you can't really feel fat. Mm. What do you think about that? I guess so, but like when I'm saying I sort of, I do feel it, I feel like I feel on my thighs, I feel like I'm fatter. Yeah. Well, I guess what we find is sometimes when people are feeling fat or they're saying that they're feeling fat, that there can be some other stuff going on at the same time, but that fat becomes like a, a label for, for their negative feelings. So there could actually be some other emotions going on or some other physical sensations. Okay. Well, you felt strongly this way this morning. What was going on for you today? Um, when I woke up, I felt just pretty awful, I guess. I went out for dinner last night with my boyfriend and we went to a restaurant that I didn't really want to go to. I wasn't really comfortable with the menu. And then we had all these arguments about that stuff and I was thinking about all this this morning. Okay. Didn't want to go to work, didn't even want to come here. I wonder if maybe you were having some feelings about what happened last night, about the, the disagreement about the restaurant and how that went. Yeah, yeah, I guess I was. I was thinking about it a lot and I was feeling pretty guilty about what I ate. I was feeling pretty guilty about how I reacted. I was feeling really anxious about going to work and people seeing me and I, I thought I'd put on weight, so. Yeah, I guess there was a lot of stuff. Sounds like there's a lot of difficult feelings going on, actually. Yeah. And, you know, what can happen is that when we're feeling lots of negative feelings, it's all very confusing and overwhelming. You know, it's not uncommon for that, if you have an eating disorder, for that focus to shift onto your weight or shape, which you're already pretty unhappy about. You, know, you already have you know, some kind of negative feelings about yourself and your body and weight and shape. So all that other stuff going on, it, it's not uncommon for your focus to become about that and for you to then think, oh, I feel fat rather than all those other emotions that you mentioned. Yeah, I, I guess that sort of makes sense. Seems a bit strange, but I guess so. But I, like, I am just fat, so. Right. Well, don't forget that your weight's actually gone down today. And remember, you weren't actually feeling so fat last session you recall. There's been sessions where you've you've reported feeling really fat and then sessions where you felt pretty good. Yeah, that's true. That's a bit weird. It mm. doesn't really match on with my that's weight, right. does it? One way to think about it is like this, that we've been tracking your weight and it's been kind of fluctuating in the normal range. But as you've described, sometimes you feel really fat and other times you don't. So your feelings of fatness are fluctuating a lot more than your actual weight. It's not that you're getting fatter and smaller and fatter and smaller. It might be that there's some other things going on like mm. what you just described last night. Yeah, that's definitely way. true. I do feel like I've gone up heaps and yeah. it hasn't. And this is your yeah. actual weight here. So what, what I'm curious about is these more intense feelings of fatness and I'm wondering if if when you feel fat, you could start to jot that down in your monitoring sheets. Yeah, I could do that. There might be quite a lot of them though. Yeah, well, I understand that often you, you can feel fat, but let's focus on the really intense times because I think they'll provide the most information for us. Okay, sure.